Hi, welcome back to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. So today I'm going to just give a very quick rundown of the new NiceHash uh, Miner version 2. So basically I've been sort of rehashing some of the um, hardware in my office here. Um, I got a new motherboard CPU combo um, for one of the machines um, and I've just been upgrading a few bits and bobs. So um, I did a, uh, an install of NiceHash on a, on a clean install of Windows 10 earlier this week and I noticed that there was um, basically a 2.0 version of, of NiceHash. Um, just in front of us here we can see here this is the um, this is the old version of, of NiceHash. This is the this uh, version one um, uh, copy of the the kind of software. Let me just minimise my um, burst coin miner there. But um, this is what the software um, used to look like. Um, but it's changed basically. It's been it's been updated and given um, given an overhaul. So if you actually just go to uh, NiceHash.com, um, I've explained this in my previous video. But if you're interested in getting started, we can go over it again now. So. Um, you literally just click the cell hash in power. Um, apologies if this um, video is a little bit slow or there's some delay, but I'm actually doing this over TeamViewer over my local network. Um, and then you click if you're um, Windows, which I am, uh, you click on the nice hash miner. Now this used to take you to uh, a GitHub page, um, but it now takes you through to this new uh, miner.nicehash.com subdomain. Um, this is basically what the new miner looks like compared to the, the old one there. Um, and you can download um, and install it um, now. I don't know when it um, actually came out. As I said, um, it was only when I went to install on a new machine, nice hash earlier this week, that I realised there was this 2.0. Um, so this may well be slightly old news, but uh, I thought I'll step through people who have only used the old one, how to upgrade, or if you've never used it before, how to install um, a nice hash and get mining. So um, click here to, to download. I actually downloaded it onto the uh, desktop. Um, few minutes ago just to be a little bit quicker so if we stop the um, the old copy of the miner um, and just shut that down um, and what I'll do is I'll just shut down my um, burst coin miner at the moment it might speed things up through the install so double click the setup file that um, it gives you it's very pretty straightforward um, agree to the terms and conditions and then it takes um, a couple of minutes to install. This is a slightly older machine. This is my burst coin mining machine that I used to also use for various other bits and bobs, like you know, watching catch up TV and a bit of gaming. Um, but it's been a little bit, um, it's been a little bit kind of inconsistent, and it's crashed a few times. So I decided to literally just leave it for burst coin mining and and kind of nice hash. And I've I've also got it staking with some wallets here and not do anything else on it. And then I've got a, a new machine that I use for my everyday stuff. So that's installed now and if we click to run it <coughs> excuse me um, allow the program to make changes yep now what it will do now is this is what happens when normally it, it opens up but first time it um, opens up um, it will try and download all the additional um, uh, mining software that it needs now um, I did this video about half an hour ago and then I suddenly realized that the sound wasn't working so I uninstalled and I'm just stepping through it again so it's got the ones it's downloaded um, from before so um, basically the first time you do it it'll take probably five minutes it will download some additional software um, Claymore's um, Kryptonite um, Miner and a Jewel Miner and various other bits and bobs like that but this is what will happen um, when you open up for the first time so um, when you open it, it opens up um, a little window in the background which is a, a server, it's called the excavator server um, and it always opens out in the background whenever you open the, the software. Now the first thing uh, you'll need to do normally is um, set your wallet so as I said I, I, un I, I actually installed this earlier so it, it's actually saved some of the, um, the setup um, bits and pieces but um, if you click on the wallet you can just put your Bitcoin wallet address and then click save um, and then what I always recommend doing is um, running the benchmark so um, the first time you install it it'll pop up here saying do you want to benchmark your devices and you can say yes um, and then it takes about five five minutes on the quick one um, the normal ones a little bit more accurate that might take 10-15 um, minutes depends on your hardware really um, but once that's done you're ready to start mining so um, it's literally as simple as clicking start Oh, um, so this is from the benchmarking earlier so I realized uh, the sound wasn't working I paused the video whilst it did the benchmarking so you didn't have to sit through it all um, 
and then I realized the sound wasn't working so I started again so um, it obviously didn't get quite to the end of its benchmarking before I um, I switched it off so what I'll do is um, I'll pause the video here I'll wait for the benchmarking to finish and then I'll be back with you then okay so the benchmarking's just finished um, it took um, about another three or four minutes there so I'd say it probably takes five to ten minutes to do um, the quickest form of book, book, um, benchmarking but um, that's done now and we're at the basic the home screen of the nice hash miner now before we click uh, start mining there's um, a couple of things you can configure so this is um, the first thing you do so you can set um, your worker ID I'll just set that to worker 2 because I think worker 1 um, I'm using on my other machine um, and then there's a configure section here where you can do um, various bits and pieces and um, this is something you may want to do so you can say right don't mind if I'm not going to make um, more than a dollar a day for example or, or something like that um, there's a few bits and pieces um, you're allowed to, um, to enable um, login and then there's um, an advanced setting where you can open the config file and the logs um, file directly and edit them but um, if you don't know what you're doing I, I wouldn't advise that and there's just a little about section there um, most people won't need to do anything apart from add their wallet so the first time it opens it if you've only running it on one machine you don't need to worry about the worker by default it's worker one um, so just add your wallet address and this is a, a Bitcoin wallet address so it mines um, lots of different algorithms using CPUs and GPUs um, but then it converts it all into Bitcoin so you just need to add a Bitcoin address there um, and then we can see here in the available devices one CPU and one GPU if you just click start it will by default use um, everything that it can on your system and it supports multiple GPUs they'll all show up here so if we just click start quickly you'll see um, what it's doing so it's um, the two, these are the two actual little miners that it's using, third party miners. So it's actually um, doing XMR, so that's a Monero a mining, so that'll be the CPU. And then it's using uh, Claymore's uh, Zcash or Zcash miner for the GPU. So um, we can leave that just um, to run for a few minutes. And then what you can do, if you want to have a look at the stats, you can click here, mining details. And this takes you um, very much to the old style. Um, uh, a miner where you can see you see there the CPU this is the algorithm it's mining so it's kryptonite for the CPU and equihash for the GPU um, the speed so 284 hashes a second on equihash and then it's just popped up there so it takes a maybe a minute to to get a reliable speed kryptonite the CPU one you what you'll see is that the speed will kind of pop up as it um, submit stuff and then it can can drop down again but you can just leave that kind of uh, running and um, it should be fine as long as there's there's some speed being recorded for both of them that's um, that's fine so that's just the individual devices and if you've got multiple GPUs they'll all be listed uh, down here and then it gives you an estimate in uh, Bitcoin and an estimate in US dollars for what you'll be making every day so if we go back and stop mining um, this same section here so once you're mining that goes through to the stats before you start mining you can click here for the hardware details and then you can turn on and off the devices so what I will do is turn off the CPU um, I'll allow it to mine on the GPU but I don't want it to CPU mine because I'm just going to about to start this back up here this is my burst coin uh, miner and that uses uh, CPU I also find I mean, this is a slightly older processor here this um, FX 8320 it's not particularly profitable to to mine with that so I just will mine with the GPU but if we go back then and click start again you see it only opens up one window this time and this is the Zcash or Zcash uh, miner and then in if we go to mining details in a few seconds we'll see the speed show up as it starts to submit um, so if we look here it's ready to mine and as it starts submitting uh, shares accepted will now start seeing a speed chart here so there we go so 306 hashes a second that will fluctuate up and down uh, until it steadies out probably about the 285 290 for this particular GPU this is a um, a 280x so that's it really so that's it for the nice hash miner um, you can click stop and start here it's very straightforward if you click stop you can close down the miner and then again double click it to start just wait a few seconds 
it will load and then it will open up the little ex excavator server in the background you can minimize that if you don't want to look at it it does actually show you if there's any errors um, appearing though so first couple of times maybe worth having a, a quick glance at that so you can see what it's loaded it's found on OpenCL device that's by Radian 280 uh, and then it's listening on this port so if there are errors they might show up there so um, just click start it will remember your configuration settings from before so it knows it's only going to mine on uh, the GPU as you can see there it's just the GPU mining um, and that's it you can leave that to um, run either like it is or run in the background once it's started mine it will give you a daily estimate the only other thing you might want to do is if you click here view the stats online this takes you through to the nice hash page the miner this is your Bitcoin address you can go to this directly um, and it tells you various information in a little bit more detail so these are the different algorithms that it supports it tells you which ones it's, it's using um, and how much it's making uh, a day in Bitcoin and then the unpaid balance within all of those this is a total of what it thinks it will make a day and then again unpaid balance um, and it will give you a prediction of the next payout date uh, there and then at the bottom this is just a graph of you can see I've actually been running this miner um, in the background for a, well, the old nice hash miner it's all on the same address um, you can see it's, it's averaging whatever it's averaging just it's trickling along here and this is where I've just been doing this video so it's just paused for a little bit and it will show up again there in a, in a minute so um, yeah some more details on the nice hash site um, but that's really all you need to know you can um, leave it running in the background if you've got a machine you want to get up and running very quickly with mining it's quite a simple way to do it you'll get paid out in bitcoins you don't need to worry about downloading different wallet addresses um, once you have a bit more you know experience you might decide that you want to kind of mine things directly you know you really want ethereum or or, or sia um, and you might want to mine those directly but um that's it for now um i hope the video has been uh useful and hopefully i will see you on the next video thanks very much bye bye